This is Ship You Shredded Club. Today's Tuesday, we're gonna be hitting some back and buys. Let's make the muscles burn. Today's Tuesday, you know what that means, back and buys, baby. We're gonna be starting today with deadlifts, just due to the fact that they work the full entire body. It's a good way to get your hormones really active, get uh, HGH levels bumped right up. Chef macht das erste Übung, um Kreuzheben, um Kraft aufzubauen. Er liebt diese Übung, weil es einfach eine Ganzkörperübung ist. Wir fangen an mit einem Aufwärmsatz, machen dann vier Working Sets mit 12, 10, 8, 6 Wiederholungen. And also in between uh, sets today, we're gonna do three minute rest periods due to the fact that we're gonna go kind of heavy today. So we wanna really recuperate our body, make sure we're hitting it at full speed. Was Jeff jetzt gerade noch gesagt hat, dass wir heute auch sehr schwer mit wenig Wiederholungen trainieren werden und deswegen die Pausen etwas länger sein werden, so ungefähr drei Minuten. Alright guys, so we're going to be starting with a warm-up set. We have 20 kilos each side. As you can notice, I don't have any straps on and I'm, I'm not wearing a belt. The reason behind that is due to the fact that I want to make the exercise harder, I don't want to make it easier. So without wearing a belt, we're going to be hitting our core a lot harder and our lower back a lot harder. Jeff has just noch erwähnt, that he the Übung Kreuzheben immer ohne Zughilfen und ohne Gürtel macht. Einfach um die Übung nicht einfacher zu machen, sondern schwerer zu machen. Wenn ihr ohne Gürtel trainiert, muss eure Kernmuskulatur härter arbeiten. Okay guys, so we're going to be starting out with the warm-up set. 15 reps, let's get started. Nice, slow, gradual pace. Keep the bar real close to the body. Keep the back straight. Good form. Let's breath. Alright guys, about the first set right now, 10 reps. First order of business, take the shirt off, show off some shreds. Club shredded members, only work out naked, baby. First set, 10 reps. All right guys, we got our second set right now. We're gonna do eight reps. We bumped the weight up to 315. So we're gonna switch from a overhand grip to a conventional overhand underhand grip. It's gonna help us hold onto it, get a little bit heavier. Uh, a couple things we're gonna focus on. We're gonna have a shoulder width stance with the feet. We're gonna start with a little bit wider grip. We're gonna keep the bar real close to our body so we keep our back straight. Real important to keep your form in check on this since we're not wearing a belt. We really wanna focus on preventing injury with this. So make sure you go slow. We're on yet. Acht Wiederholungen, der zweite Working Set, wir haben das Gewicht nochmal etwas erhöht. Jeff hat gerade nochmal erwähnt, dass es jetzt wichtig ist, auch wenn ihr ohne Gürtel trainiert, dass eure Form wirklich sauber ist. Der Griff wird jetzt ein bisschen verändern und zwar machen wir jetzt von dem normalen Griff einen Kreuzgriff. Alright. Achtet darauf, dass die Stange immer schön eng an eurem Körper ist. Alright boys, we got our third set right now. We bumped the weight up to 20 kilos. Third set, we're about to blast out six reps. Make sure you keep the weight on the back of the heels, keep that good form. Lasst es nicht auf euren Fersen, um gute Form zu bewahren. Get up, go forward. Alright guys, we got our fourth and final set for deadlifts right now. We bumped the weight up to 405. We're gonna do four reps for the last set. Let's hit it. More. That's how you get shredded, baby. Good set. Hi right, boys, that's it for deadlifts. Now we're gonna head on over to close grip lap pull downs. Keep the back workout going. All right guys, we got our second exercise right now. We're really gonna be hitting the inside of the back on this one. We're gonna make sure we keep our shoulders rolled back the entire time. It's gonna help isolate the back. Never wanna keep your shoulders rolled forward. It's gonna... A couple other things. We're gonna hold the little attachment at the lower end of the bar. We're gonna hold with our back three fingers, which is gonna help hit the lower lats. So let's get started. First set, 12 reps. Lasst immer eure Schultern vorne bei der Übung, damit ihr die Spannung nicht aus der Latissimus Muskulatur rausnehmt. Wir machen jetzt hier mit drei Fingern den Griff, um den Tonus noch mehr auf den Lampen zu legen. 
Last one, we're gonna go up slow, five second negative. Nice, slow, gradual pace. Really squeeze the shoulder blades in. Pretend like you have a little tennis ball between your shoulder blades. Wir machen immer einen Drop Set, sprich 10 Wiederholungen mit dem ersten Gewicht, 8 Wiederholungen mit dem leichteren Gewicht. Alright guys, we got our second set right now. We're gonna do 10 reps and we're gonna do the drop set of 8 to 10 reps. Make sure you breathe in as you go up and you do a big exhale on the way down as you do the exercise. Wichtig, dass ihr bei der letzten Wiederholung noch mal eine 5 Sekunden negativ Wiederholung macht, sprich das Gewicht hier langsam zurücklassen. Alright guys, that's it for our second set. We have two more sets to go, then we'll finish off with close grip lat pull downs. Alright guys, moving on to our third set. We're gonna do eight reps, then we're gonna do a drop set of eight to ten reps. Get started. Fourth and final set, we're gonna finish off with eight reps and we're gonna do our drop set of eight to 10 reps. Make sure you guys keep the form in check. Blast it out. Good set, brother. All right, guys, that's it for the close grip lat pull downs. What we just did was hitting the inner back of the lats. And also when we did the, the three fingers, that's really hitting the lower lat also. So Felix, why don't you show him what we just hit? Wir haben jetzt hier gerade den inneren Bereich vom Latissimus getroffen. Durch diesen speziellen Griff haben wir natürlich auch den äußeren dabei. Now we're gonna head on over to do some wide grip pull-ups. Build the width of the lats. Keep the pump going. All right, heading on over to our third exercise right now. We're gonna be doing wide grip pull-ups. Really gonna be building the width on this one. So we're gonna do three sets right to failure. We're gonna keep the shoulders rolled back. We're gonna be coming up. We're gonna do slow negatives on this. Really gonna help hit the back. So let's get started. Wir gehen mit der Brust nach oben und versuchen die Stange zur Brust zu ziehen, wenn wir nicht mit dem Bein schwingen. Chef hat gerade einen guten Tipp gehabt. Wenn ihr eure Schulterblätter euch vorstellt, da wäre ein Tennisball dazwischen. Ihr klemmt den Tennisball zwischen euren Schulterblättern ein, könnt ihr euren Latt nochmal richtig isolieren. Second set of pull-ups right now. Which grip do you use? Do you use a uh, you can do a suicide grip or you can just do a regular conventional grip. I feel like a suicide grip honestly does hit the lats a little bit better. It makes it a little bit harder so you're not able to do as many reps. I personally like to do a conventional grip where I just grip the bar with my thumbs over the inside. It kind of depends on what you guys want to do. All right, boys, third and final set of wide grip pull-ups. Make sure you push yourself to failure every single rep. If you want to get in the shape you shredded club, you got to push yourself to failure, baby. Let's get pumped up. Wir sind jetzt fertig mit den Klimmzügen. Wir machen jetzt noch eine weitere Übung für den Rücken und zwar Rudern am Kabelzug. Wenn ihr Mitglied im Club Shredded sein wollt, müsst ihr immer bis zum Versagen trainieren. Alright guys, we're gonna finish this club shredder back workout off with some cable rows. We're gonna build a width in this. We're gonna do three sets of 12, 10, 8 reps. And of course, we're gonna do some drop sets. Drop sets are gonna be 10 reps for each set. We're gonna be holding the attachment at the bottom of the grip. We're gonna make sure we keep our shoulders rolled back the entire time to help isolate the lats on this one. We're gonna do slow negatives, again, to kind of do an isometric tear. And of course, on the last rep, we're gonna do a five second negative. First set, 12 reps. Last one, five second negative. Ah, hit our drop set. Make sure you're putting your little guns on this one. Bei dem Drop set wechseln wir wieder zu dem Pistolengriff, um einfach hier nochmal den Fokus mehr auf den unteren Latt zu legen. Okay guys, we're heading on over to our second set right now. We're gonna do 10 reps for the second set, and then of course we're gonna do our drop set, 10 reps. Excuse the shoulder blades, looks good. We 
we got our third and final set of cable rows right now. We're gonna be finishing off with eight reps, and then we're gonna do a drop set of eight to 10 reps. Same thing as last time, keep the good form. Let's finish off. All right, boys, that's it for the back workout. If you're trying to get in the club shredded, you gotta have a shredded back. All right, boys, you're gonna finish the shape you shredded club workout off with some biceps. We're gonna be starting with some barbell curls. Well, how this is gonna work, we're gonna do three sets of 10, eight, six reps. Form-wise, we're gonna do a nice narrow stance, a little natural bend the knees. We're gonna get a shoulder width grip, keep the shoulders rolled back the entire time, elbows in tight. Last rep, we're gonna do a slow negative, really help get that isometric tear in the biceps. Build some guns, baby. Wichtig, dass ihr eure Ellbogen schön am Körper lasst. Wir haben ungefähr einen schulterweiten Griff, den Füßen leicht in die Beugung geht und nicht aus den Füßen raus schwingen, sondern schön die Spannung auf dem Bizeps lassen. Weiter Satz Bizeps Curse, stellt sicher, dass eure Schultern schön hinten bleiben, nicht nach vorne schwingen, Ellbogen wieder eng, das Gewicht wurde ein bisschen erhöht. Alright guys, we're our third and final set of barbell curls right now. We're gonna be finishing off with six reps. Bump the weight up a little bit. Let's build some guns, baby. Alright, that's it for barbell curls. Make sure you guys do perfect form on this. Make sure you get the full range of motion. Don't cheat yourselves on this. Club Shred members, we don't cheat, baby. We got one more bicep exercise to go, and we're gonna be done with this. All right guys, we're gonna finish off the bicep workout off with some side hammer curls. This is really gonna be hitting the brachialis on the bicep. It's gonna really bring in the width and mass of the bicep. We're gonna be doing three sets of 10, eight, six reps. So uh, 10, eight, six reps for each arm. Again, we're gonna get a nice narrow stance with the feet, a little bend in the knees. We're gonna roll the shoulders back. We're gonna come up to the side. And we're gonna get full range of motion, so we're gonna bring it all the way up. Really, really hitting that brachialis right there. Come down, alternate arms, keep switching it up. Finish off the bicep workout. Wir machen jetzt noch Hammer Curse zum Abschluss. Stellt sicher, dass eure Füße wieder schön eng stellt, leicht in die Knie geht. Diese Übung ist jetzt vor allem für den äußeren Teil vom Bizeps, den Brachialis, und um da ein bisschen Masse hinzubekommen. Hi guys, we got our first set of side hammer curls. We're gonna do 10 reps. A couple other key pointers that we're gonna do. We're gonna do a suicide grip and we're gonna hold the dumbbell at the bottom of the dumbbell right there. So we're not gonna rest the uh, top of our arm right there. It's gonna make it easier, so we wanna make it harder. It's gonna help hit the brachialis like that, and then also turning the thumb in to a suicide grip is gonna take a lot of less stress off the form, put onto the brachialis. So we're gonna do 10 reps for the first set. Let's get started. Zweiter Bizepssatz, wir halten die Hand unten am Boden, um höheren Schwierigkeitsgrad zu erreichen. Bei oben ist einfacher, wenn ihr Clip Shredded sein wollt, müsst ihr den harten Weg gehen. Außerdem nehmen wir hier auch den Suicide Grip, weil hier dann nochmal mehr die Belastung auf den Brachialis gelegt wird. Wir gehen nochmal ein bisschen höher mit dem Gewicht. Los geht's! Alright boys, we've got our third and final set of side hammer curls. We're gonna finish off with six reps each arm. Make sure you guys keep the form in check. Form's important. We bumped the weight up a little bit. Let's finish off. Yeah. 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 Alright. Bump 
it up, baby. All right, boys, that's it for bath and buys. It was a super good workout. Make sure you guys push every single rep. If you're trying to get in the club shredded, you gotta push it. Don't cheat yourselves. You gotta make every single rep count. You gotta get shredded, bro. Yeah. Genau, Leute, wenn ihr Club shredded sein wollt, müsst ihr immer an euer Limit gehen. Wir sind jetzt fertig mit unserem Rücken- und Bizeps-Tag. Ja, yeah, das war ein geiles Training. That's right. Make sure you follow our advice we give you guys. We're trying to make you guys get the club shredded. Stay shredded, bros. For information on training, supplementation, and nutrition, visit shapeyou.de.